Hey guys, take a look at this uh, trailer thing here. It's kind of slanted, right? Look at that, it's, it's slanted. Look at these things you drive on from here. And uh, it's, it's slanted. Do you know that word? Slanted, it means if something is on an angle, right? So you see that it's on an angle uh, for the vehicle to drive up, right? And uh, hi, sir, how are you doing? Good, how are you? All right, good, thanks. Um, now, is it supposed to be slanted? That's the question. Is it supposed to be like that? Yes, it is supposed to be like that, right? Because if it wasn't slanted, how would you drive up there? Right, you need, you need to get up there, right? If it's just like, you know, it needs to be slanted to drive up there, right? So that's what the word slanted means, okay? Slanted means if something is on an angle, anything, right? Let me look at some, let me look for some examples here. I'm out of breath. I was just doing some exercises and uh, guys, I'm a bit fat these days, but uh, give me some tips for weight loss. Give me some encouragement to lose weight, guys. <laughs> oh, I saw another example for slanted. So if you see this, the roof on this, let's go over here, guys. I need my exercise, so I'll walk over there and I'll show you another example of slanted. So in this video, we're comparing the words slanted and crooked. What's the difference? Okay, do you know the difference between slanted and crooked? They're both similar. <clears throat> they have a similar meaning, right? But uh, there's a key difference, right? Do you know what that difference is? All right, so we're just gonna go over here. I'll give you an example of a, what a slanted roof looks like. Now, most roofs here in Canada are slanted. Why? It's because the snow needs to go somewhere right so like if, if it's just a flat roof like they have in places maybe like I don't know Greece or Albania or you know those warm countries okay so you can see here see that red roof is a bit slanted not that part of the building isn't slanted but the top one is slanted right it's kind of it's it's not a very big slope it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a, uh, a gradual slope, okay? So um, the word slope means like like that. If it's a if it's if it's a really uh, big or what's the word severe severe slope. Like if you're going skiing, right? If the mountain is like this, well, you're probably gonna die, right? If you try going down a slope like that it's it's dangerous right but if you're a beginner skier you know you want to stick to more like the gradual slopes right you want to kind of go down easily so if the slope is like that it's kind of a gradual slope if it's like that it's a it's a big slope what's the opposite of gradual hmm I'm trying to think what the ob opposite of gradual is but uh anyway guys so you can see here too where there's this there's a bottle depot here the top looks flat actually the top of the roof but if you look at these little overhang things i'll just go over and show you i don't know what that word is but you could call that thing as like an overhang right so you can see the overhang is slanted right so uh when it snows the snow will melt and run off of there right so so the roof is slanted the overhang is slanted okay so you get the idea what slanted means and slope is kind of a word that refers to the angle of something like a mountain for example you could say it has a it has a big slope or a gradual slope okay so anything could be slanted it just means it's you know like uh hey do you ever write in italics you know when you write something on your computer 
You can choose what your font looks like. You can choose bold, which makes the font a little bit bla more black. And it, bold, it means it sticks out a bit more. Okay, so the word font means like your, your, your script, your words, your, you know, your typing, right? How it appears. It's, you know, there's font that looks different. There are different kinds of font, right? There is uh, Times New Roman font. There is uh, Arial font. What all the different kinds of font. You can hear a big truck sneaking up behind me. All right, guys. Next word is crooked. Now, crooked means that something is not supposed to be slanted, but it is, right? So if you have a painting on your wall, let's see if you have a nice picture frame on your wall. Maybe your family, you have a family picture on your wall. Have you ever seen a picture, gone into someone's house and the, the picture on the wall is a little bit crooked? It's not straight, right? So that's the word, that's where we use the word crooked. It means that the, the painting, or whatever it is, that it's slanted, but it's not supposed to be slanted, right? It's, it's bad. So when something is crooked, it means that it's, it's, it's slanted because, but it's not supposed to be. It's bad that it's slanted, right? So let me see if I can see any crooked things like uh, Hey, you know what? I can see that stop sign looks a bit crooked <laughs> I'm getting lucky. I'm finding some good examples guys for you Okay, so here we see some signs and I see one of the stop signs coming up here is a bit crooked Okay, so you can see this sign looks straight, right? This is a good perfect perfectly straight sign, right? Now, if we look at, well, this one, I don't know. Let me, let me, I was looking at this one over here. Now, this stop sign, guys, is, <laughs> look at that. It's completely crooked, right? Look at that, okay? The stop sign is supposed to be straight up and down, but it's not. It's like on an angle. It's kind of slanted. That's not supposed to be that way. So you can say the stop sign is a bit crooked. It's Actually, it's not just a bit crooked, it's, it's a lot crooked. It's very crooked, but I see another stop sign up here. Let's see if this one is crooked. Nope, that one looks straight, guys. Look at that. Perfectly vertical. Okay, if something is vertical, that means it's straight up and down. If something is horizontal, that means it's straight like this, flat, like that. If something is crooked, it means it's supposed to be vertical or there's supposed to be a straight line, but it's, it's something is not straight about it, okay? Well, guys, I'm just walking around here teaching you some English. So give me a like if you love learning English. Um, I love hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. So, um, let me know if you understand the difference between crooked and slanted. Okay, now crooked also has another meaning. Crooked means if someone is dishonest or like a liar, right? Now, do you remember when Donald Trump was running against Hillary Clinton, right? What was his name? For her what did he call her you know Donald Trump always makes names for his opponents political opponents right for example Ted Cruz he called lion Ted lying Ted right he wanted to label his enemy as a liar right now with with Hillary he called her crooked Hillary okay crooked Hillary but what does that mean? Well, he was saying that she was crooked. Was he talking about her, the angle of her body? I think I just got a bug in my mouth, guys. 
Um, here in Canada, sometimes mosquitoes can fly into your mouth. How about in your country? Do mosquitoes ever fly into your mouth? I hope not. Um, so guys, uh, Crooked Hillary means he was saying that she's a liar. She's not honest. Very dishonest, right? Crooked Hillary. Hey, are you crooked? I hope I'm not crooked. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm crooked. But uh, a crook, a crook, a crook, right? The word crook, a, a crook is a person who like steals from, from someone, right? If someone is crooked, <coughs> it means they're, they're like a, a thief, right? A crook, a crook. Hmm, he's a crook. That means he's, uh, you know, a thief. A liar not he's not an honest person right uh, so you don't want to you don't want to be around crooked people because they're crooks right if well, now politicians most politicians are crooks right they steal from the people they take money from the people and they live great lives they probably have a nice house have a private jet nice food right why do politicians get nice food and everybody else eats crap it's not fair, right? Why? Because the politicians are crooked, okay? Guys, I see a magpie. Look at this kind of a bird. See that bird? It's called a magpie. Anyway, another extra vocabulary word for you guys. So a crooked, you, you know, it's not good to be crooked, whether you're a, whether you're a person uh, like a, like a politician or anybody, it's not good to be crooked. But also crooked, it's not good to be crooked for anything. Like if something is like a painting hanging on your wall, or you know, if we're talking about a fence, or we're talking about a sign, or we're talking about a tree, a branch. Maybe you could be you could say, uh, hey, this branch. You know, if you say this this branch is a bit crooked. Uh, you know, that's like not a good thing. It means like I'm trying to think it's look I'm looking at this tree here see if there's any examples. I Don't know You could say for example <clears throat> See this this branch comes up like this This one's like kind of normal kind of normal and then this branch over here This one kind of looks a bit crooked, right? It looks like it was supposed to come up like this But it kind of went that way so you could say you could say that branch is a bit crooked. You know? So we can use these words in different ways, right? Uh, but uh, anyway, so that's the difference between slanted and crooked. Slanted might, that slanted is just a, a noticing the angle of something, right? Uh, so very often, like look at, these, look at these lines, right? These lines are slanted right <clears throat> are they supposed to be slanted yeah that's good right tells you you're not supposed to park there right so uh you know if these lines now these lines are not supposed to be slanted right <clears throat> if these lines were slanted then we could say these lines are crooked let's say this line was like over there or something that that would be bad because it's not supposed to be that way, okay? So if something is slanted and it's not supposed to be slanted, then you could say it's crooked, right? Say, say that word once, try to say it. Crooked, not crooked, right? Sometimes the ED ending on a word can make the sound t, like I walked, you know? I made this video <clears throat> and I walked a few blocks. I walked, I didn't walk it. You don't say walk it, you say walked. But for crooked, you say crooked, not crooked. Okay, so try to pronounce that word. Crooked, 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 crooked. Are you crooked? Guys, I hope you're not crooked. I hope I don't have any crooked subscribers. I might have a couple. Anyway, 
So guys, there's your difference between crooked and slanted. And a slope, that's a good word to, to use as well. If we're talking about the vertical angle of something, you can say it's a slope, like a mountain. A mountain is something that's vertical, right? It's a slope, right? Uh, something big, like if, if it's usually, usually we use the word slope for like a, a hill or a mountain, right? You can say that as a, yeah, that mountain has a, <clears throat> a pretty steep, slope maybe that's the word i was looking for before steep if something is really steep that means it's a very like severe slope if it's not steep that means it's gradual a very gradual slope okay so anyway guys there's some real life examples of uh slanted versus slope let me know in the comments if you learned something and uh you guys might be wondering why i'm wearing this black jacket well because it's cold out here guys it's in the well it's in the beginning of summer it's june I forgot which day it is somewhere around june hear a crow up there that crow is probably crooked coming to steal my money can't trust these crooked crows guys um right now it's about june i think it's june 7th today so it's beginning of summer here in in calgary alberta and uh well i'm not in calgary right now specifically but in alberta it's it's uh it's beginning of summer and you know sometimes sometimes these days can be cold like they can be very chilly like it can, it can be like maybe 10 degrees or like you know and that's as high as it gets maybe all day like you can see right now the sun's way way up there so it's about 11 a.m maybe 11 12 it's uh almost 12 it's almost noon and it's a bit chilly guys so that's why i'm wearing this uh that's why i'm wearing a jacket uh because it's just a bit chilly so anyway guys as always i love you so much hope you guys are having a great day stay safe and happy wherever you are and as always i'll see you over in the next episode of mad english tv take care